Hello everybody, it's Emery48 here and welcome back to another video talking about Loki. Uh, episode 5, Science Fiction, was recently released. And it's not going to go up there for one of my favorites. Um, it, it was trippy, a bit funky. And, I mean, it, the disaster didn't happen. We get put back in place to fix the disaster. And it wasn't difficult. I don't know. It felt like a very uh, odd episode. Um, reset to before the loom explodes. Just at the end there. It, it was a very funky way of portraying time. The wibbly wobbly concept that is time. Uh, and granted, I am a Doctor Who fan. So I blindly accept a lot of random things about time. Uh, but the way it was portrayed in this episode, I don't know, didn't click with my brain. Uh, maybe that's a me thing. Could have been really interesting for some people. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. The only real thing in this episode that I enjoyed was seeing where everybody's place on the timeline actually is. That was a really cool concept for me. Um, I think it's really important seeing where these people came from. And I do kind of agree with Loki. I think people should have the choice to decide whether they decide to stay with the TVA or stay at their spot in the timeline or jump between the two if that's an option at all. I think that's important. Not giving them the choice either way. Uh, if you make them stay in the TVA and don't show them their place in the timeline or you don't show them their place in the TVA and force them to stay on the timeline not knowing what they could have done. I think either way is not a positive way to go about things. So I do agree with Loki on that point. Regardless of the fact that he's doing it selfishly just because he wants his friends back, I think his point's valid. His reason for the point, not as great and a little self-centered but that's fine that that was the only real point of the episode that intrigued me everything else it was cool seeing obi uh was a writer maybe he wrote about this in his science fiction i don't know blatantly pointing out that we're blowing up science and fiction and not really regarding either i don't know it was kind of weird for me not necessarily a bad episode. I mean, it was definitely a builder episode for the season. If this was the peak and the end of the season, then it would be very disappointing finale. But it's not. It's a builder. And to really judge a season, you have to see where it ends, start to finish. I'm just not a big fan of this episode. Although I can see why it would be an important one. You can skip this episode, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. There's no way you could skip this episode. It just wasn't one that intrigued me all the way through. It was... It was more on the pouring side for me, and I just didn't follow along with the time stuff as much. Let me know your thoughts on episode five and the season as a whole down below, uh, especially if you're wrong, or if I'm wrong, sorry, not if you're wrong, if you disagree with me, please tell me, because I'd love to hear other perspectives on this to see if that gives me a different view on the episode. Because I've, I've really enjoyed the show, so being critical on an episode uh, for me is, is kind of rare, I feel like, with Loki. Because I've enjoyed pretty much every episode up to this point. This one was a, a lower one for me compared to the regular ones. So, I am looking forward to next week, still, obviously. Uh, I'd like to see where they grow from this one, where they build off of this. Because now they're back, supposedly, and everybody... Is their normal character, maybe? Who knows? Interesting progress. It is weird that we still don't really see a full-on villain yet, and we're five episodes in. So the people that we thought were villains didn't even show up in this episode. So that that's interesting. Um, see where that goes. That is all I have time for in today's video. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.